Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome to Rua. Rua. R U A H is the name of the game, and it is, yes, indeed, one of these very minimalistic, quote unquote, walking simulators. Relax em ups, I suppose. Rua is free! Forget about the Steam Summer Sale, this game is free! At uh, the website linked in the doobly doo, -doo it is a first-person exploration game inspired by games like Proteus and Journey. Uh, it was made uh, in one semester of uh, for a student project at the Game Academy in Berlin. And an Xbox controller is recommended, which I suppose is why they're showing showing me the uh, the Xbox controller thing here. Is my Xbox controller plugged in? Am I? Do I have the the game, there we go, I did not have the game, I didn't have the game focused. Alright, that's how you look around. I'm assuming that's movement. Not sure what those do, but those do things. Alright, thank you! Let us continue. How does one continue with the journey? Alright, I get the controls. Oh, here we go, you gotta push all the buttons at once. So yeah, I figure, <laughs> I saw this. And I figured it is kind of my forte, I suppose. It, it's a frequent uh, installment here on the Kurt J. Mac channel is to play these little games that aren't quite games. So we'll do a one-off video. I don't think an entire series is going to come out of this because uh, I don't think I don't think there really is any sort of series or, or storyline or anything. But yes, yeah, very washed out, very. Obviously textureless for the most part, other than just solid colors. Uh, I'm kind of oh pushing, yeah, pushing the uh, the thumbstick buttons. Oh, they, I have some sort of force field with the uh, right trigger, left trigger. Is that how you interact with things? But it, either way, I'm gonna follow this path here. Let's see what happens when we use our force field on this tree. Uh. Absolutely nothing. Very, whoa, very, very floaty. I feel like this is coming from the perspective of some sort of quadricopter or something with a, a GoPro attached to it. A drone, a drone, as the medias would have you believe. Can I interact with these flowers? No, perhaps the deer. Hello, mighty buck. Do not gore me with your horns. Oh, or just have a seat. Hello, do you have some wisdom to impart upon me? I have a force field. Oh, check it off! Oh! Speaking to me with his own force field. Interesting. Alright, let, let's follow the deer, I suppose. Woo! Hello, where are we going? It's pointing towards the sun. Shall I head towards the sun? Okay, I think he's indicating... Oh, there's a path over there, alright. Shall I cross this river? I shall... I shall... Oh, I shall submerge in the river. <laughs> Curses you, damn dear! You've led me to my demise. <laughs> Ooh, alright. Yeah, the really floaty controls. I'm actually quite... You can play with a mouse and keyboard, but they say... Recommended with an Xbox controller. Can I interact with the butterflies? Hello. Not really. Wow, it, I'm... I have a feeling I'm like... Like the world is tilting back and forth as opposed to my own head. It's, it's a bit disconcerting. What was that? Ooh. We are entering into the dark forest that is actually not any darker than the place we were previously at. These trees, they cast no shadows. Oh, wow. Gugh. My head, I'm like a bobblehead guy. Ooh. Interesting. Are the mushrooms singing? The music kind of changed there. I'm assuming I didn't read too much about it. Actually, it doesn't say too much about it. I'm thinking it is uh, being as it was inspired by Proteus, the way you interact with objects kind of changes the music. 
Yeah, now I'm getting some sort of Spanish guitar going on. The path. Oh, another deer guy. Uh, kind of intersecting with the tree, but that's all right. Doubt a deer, a female deer. What? What's this deer got to say? Uh, all right, that's. Let's not stretch in that direction. That's a little bit uncomfortable for me to be aiming there. Nothing? Your male dear friend had something to say. Alright. It's actually a giant pig. That's why it's pink. <laughs> pink deer. Pink deer. Pink deer. Alright, continuing on. Ooh, it's a big old tree. Yeah, the buttons A, X, Y, B, and the D-pad does nothing. It's just those those items. Woo! All right, you can just float right over obstacles. Oh! Oh, the world is telling me I can't go this way. I'm being thrust in another direction. But I wish to go this way. Whoa! Oh, okay, I guess... Whoa, I'm floating. I'm, I'm very confused. I'm apparently merely suggesting my 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 person travel in, in a general direction. Hmm. All right. I, I appear to be stuck. I can't seem to. Oh, should I follow the path? Is this the path over here? Oh, out of the way, you dang trees! Oh, they did get out of the way. Oh, they did. Hey, thanks. Much obliged. Oh, now it's kind of... is it snowing? Much like in Proteus? This is like a... an homage to Proteus more than anything. Oh, is that the same buck? Did the buck stop there? Alright, whoa, I apologize if any of you are getting sick, because uh, the controls are really floaty. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't kill me. Allow me to interact with you. Wob. Wob. You play a mean guitar. Oh, there he goes. Now he's pointing me. Ooh, this guy's a this guy's a, a prancer. He's a, he's a leaper. Leaps and bounds above the competition. Oh, okay, I'm following this guy. If I can keep my head on the swivel. Good. Whoa, I'm sorry. Oh god, what have you done? Uh, he's telling me to go. Do I have to climb the mountain? Are you for serious? I can't jump. There's no jumping mechanic here. Alright. <laughs> now there's no jumping mechanic. I missed the jump. I'm very lost now. I'm getting spat out the bottom of the mountain. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Oh, I just like auto climbed it. All right, that's fine. Kind of taking the walking part of the walking simulator out of my hands there. Um, over there. Oh, I, I activate it with my... Oh, that's interesting. Alright, well, there's actually, like, a game mechanic here. There's some sort of... Yeah, while I'm in range, if I'm using my my orb of energy, that little uh, mountain juts out. Oh, and then I fall right through it. What's happened? What has happened? What has happened? What is going on? I'm very confused. I just see blue! Woo! Woo! I'm here! I made it! All right. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Some sort of shrine-like situation. Ooh. All right. That was a little weird. <laughs> oh God, no! Don't go off the other side of the cliff. All right. Let's find out what this guy has to say. What is that? Is that the female deer again? The music has stopped. Ooh. Found some sort of triangle. You got some sort of geometry. Hi. Oh! What has happened? Uh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Shortest video ever. Okay. I'm not sure I got to explore as much as I wanted to explore. But maybe there wasn't much to explore, I suppose. But uh, this has been... Ruaha by these people. Certainly visually interesting. Of course, that just simply might also be kind of a, a, a lack of time thing. A time constraint, only having done it in a single semester for a, an academy project. You make things a little bit... Uh, you're, when you put constraints on yourself, you, you come up with uh, different solutions and... I suppose the the Proteus aesthetic is kind of the solution they went with, and what's happening here? Alright, what actually happened there was that the, the game window just closed on me, which uh, also ended prematurely my recording. Uh, so I, I've restarted the game, so yeah, I guess that's really all there is uh, to Rua. I can't say I'm not a little bit disappointed just compared to the, the Proteus and uh, those other games I've played, Purgatorious, <laughs> um, but uh, but otherwise, it was an interesting experience, and I'm glad we were able to share it together. I just really quickly, uh, since we now realize how short it is, I want to see how much I can, or if I can, deviate from what I assume was the plan I was following before. Nope, it's uh, it's putting me back on the path. Damn you, putting me back on the path. What if I never talk to any of the animals? Yeah, I'm just gonna continue. Just remain seated there. I don't care about your narrative. What if I swim up? Up, oh, I can see through the world. Oh, I am swimming up. Uh oh. Let's break the video game! We did it! We did it, everybody! We broke the video game! All right, so there we go. I think this is a far more fitting end to Rua for us. This is exactly how uh, Ocean City Racers ended. We ended up on the underside of the map, remember that? Oh, the hilarity. But uh, yeah, link in the video description if you yourself want to just try it out for a couple minutes, apparently. Uh, free game. Uh, it was worth every penny. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time. Uh, okay, so how do I, how do I, how do I get out of this? Uh, are there, are there sharks? Do I have to worry about sharks? Ah, jeez, look what I've done. <laughs>